Yeah, I have fried eggs, peeps. Just fiddling with my strings. Ah! Oh, my head's too fat. It always, I'm stroking. I'm sorry. GG. How many times do I want to talk about my fanny in this video? I do not know. Hello, world, and welcome back to yet another dun 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 Primark haul. Yes, I'm already back with another one. But, okay, my last Primark haul that was the previous Super Haul Sunday has, like, done so well. It's already on over 300,000 views in just over a week, which is mind-boggling. So that tells me that you guys love a good Primark haul, hence why I'm back with another one. Let me know if you want me to do, like, bi- is it bi-weekly? Is that every second week? Quarterly? monthly let me know how often you want primark calls basically and i would love to oblige because any excuse to pop into primark is just brilliant so as we know i'm a big lover of the oxford street or is it oxford circus oxford street oxford street in london primark i think it's one of the best primarks i am thinking that i might need to go to bristol soon even though it's like an hour's drive from my house just for the sheer fact I want to go to that Primark as well. But anyway, let's get a wiggle on. I hope you guys have enjoyed. You may have also seen that I've hit over 80K. I'm actually nearly at 84K already, which just blows my mind. But yes, there is a huge giveaway going on on my Instagram right now. So go and check it out, Misha underscore Grimes, and let's get a wiggle on. The first item I actually want to mention is what I'm wearing right now. And you might be thinking, like, why is Misha in her pajamas? Like, I know she's filming this in her bedroom, but come on, Mish, put a bit of effort in. Well, I'm going to do this haul how I've done previous ones that you guys seem to enjoy, where I literally put the clothes on as I go. So I thought, there's no point getting into a fancy outfit that I'm going to take off. B, I bought these pyjamas from Primark, and C, no wait, C, they're Disney, and D, they have M's all over them. And if you've never seen my face before, then hi, I'm Misha. Grimes. So I just thought these were like the cutest thing and I had to get them because pajamas that are Disney have my name on them. Well, not my name, my initial. I just had to go with it. So yes, these are adorable. Let's, I don't know how much they were. I always feel like I need to give prices of Primark, but they don't seem to have a price tag, peeps. They were probably under £10. I'm assuming. Okay, yes. Let's get a wiggle on. We have got so many goodies to delve into. And the first one I'm going to pick is actually this. Now, can we appreciate that colour? I really want this to be my next nail colour, but I don't think that my nail lady, Beauty by V, by the way, if you like my nails, I go to Beauty by V. Yes. Anyway, bit of promo in there for you, Vicky. So, we have this bikini top. Look at it now this it gives me major pageant vibes if you guys don't know i am miss team galaxy which is a really weird sentence to say because i sound like i'm think i'm a queen but i'm a pageant queen so yes i thought this was such like a clubby slash pageant slash like a glitzy bikini for primark so it's got this like really cool neckline and then it's got one of those like horse buckles and it's got gems in it, which I'm all about the gem life. Like, if something has crystals or sparkles on it, I'm like, get me 10, please. And then these are the bottoms. I got them in a six, the whole set. You have to buy them separately, which is brilliant because say you're bigger up top and smaller up bottom or just non-existent in my case, then you can fit accordingly. But I do think I maybe might want to size up in these bottoms just because they look a bit bare on the old vajiji. I would normally call it a phalange, and I know a phalange is not your vajiji. I know a phalange is your fingers, 
but I still feel like phalange sounds like the word for your vajiji. I have a different word for my that area every single damn time. But let's get this bikini on because it looks luscious. And it was only, I think it was four pounds, no, five pounds for the bottoms and eight pounds for the top, which is Brillo. I'm now gonna exit stage left so that you don't see my new nar yas. I'm quite proud of myself. I just actually realized it was left without having to do the left and the right thing with my fingers. For some reason, left and right is just not something I get. I'm pretty sure I'm dyslexic. It's just never really been proven. I'm sure I am. Ta-da! Here is the bikini. Now, I know my boobs don't fill the center of it. You do not need to let me know. I'm fully aware. But I still really, and I do think it gives me a tiny bit of a cleavage. And then here's the bottoms. Here's my bum, woohoo! I don't think I fake tanned my bum, so please excuse the fact it's really pale in comparison to the rest of me. Oh, and if you want to know what fake tan I'm wearing right now, it's the fake bake gel one. I tried it out on my Instagram the other day. I'm loving it. I feel like the colour's really nice. But yes, here's the top. I do think if they did a four, which I don't think they do, I could do a smaller size because it's a little bit gapy on the old side. No, no. Not even side boob, that's like centre boob. And then here's the bottoms. I was right, they are quite bare around like my vajiji. How many times do I want to talk about my fanny in this video? I do not know. But anyway, we're probably mostly all girls. Let me know if you're a guy watching this. Then you probably don't want to hear about my fanny, but you're going to anyway. So yes, it's so lush. Have I shaved my armpits? They're a little bit prickly. Some things never change. I just love this colour. You can like... I mean, you could literally pull the bottoms up so high-waisted if you wanted to, or you could do them lower. But can we see? Okay, optical illusion. Not that flattering. Makes me look reasonably, like, wide. And then hoik them up a little bit. So much more flattering. I never was into high-waisted, but my, my opinions have been changed, people. I think I've kind of turned into a high-waisted gal. So, yes love this bikini i am ready for holds now this really really excites me i should probably also discuss the elephant in the room my hairdo do i look like one of those annoying boys that try and do the man bun do i look like a dog with a bun or does it look cute and i don't think it does but you know when your hair's just so greasy, you just got to roll with the punches. So let's get a wiggle on and move on to the next item so I can get out of my bikini. But genuinely, outside right now, it's 29 degrees, so I wish I could jump out my window and go and sunbathe in this beauty. Then again, sunbathing lines would be a bit weird. So let's move onwards. So this next piece i think is gonna be awful i won't lie to you all so mum was the one that convinced me to pick this up and i was like oh maybe it could look cute and then as i paid as i was walking out i saw it on the mannequin and i was like that doesn't look cute so i'm probably going to look like a floral mess but if you can't be floral sick then what can you be as we can see, it's a little co-ward. So you'd think a co-ward, we're all good. Hmm, let's see people. Oh, the crop top's quite small. I don't know what size I got it in. I know I got the skirt in an eight because they didn't have any smaller sizes available, but it actually fits okay. Okay, let's squish you guys out so you can see the grandma length and whether it looks cute or not. Okay, this actually looks quite cute. Like. I am pleasantly surprised. The pattern and the colour is adorable. I just don't know when I'd wear this. Like, I do like it, but I almost think it would be cuter if it was, like, a little mini skirt. Like, it's definitely got potential. I could see this for, like, a summer wedding or something along those lines. But I don't know. What do we think down below, guys? Do I look like my grandma threw up on me? Or do I look like the Chelsea Summer Gardens? This crop top, to be fair, is really nice. I always am stroking. I'm sorry. It's just like, you've got to feel the fabric. You've got to tell people what the fabric's like. Okie dokie. Now, I feel like I haven't got the same angle that I had beforehand. Apologies. It's quite difficult to like put the camera back in the same place. But... 
you may know, you, you will know, that June is Pride Month. Now, is it still June right now? I think it might technically still be June. Let me check. It's June 26th. I made it by four days. So Primark had loads of Pride, like, inspired clothing. So it was loads of rainbows, loads of colour, and you know I'm all about that. And I just thought it was a very nice thought behind a collection. So I picked up this jumper and this is adorable and it says new improved sizing. Okay, I'll test that out. Thank you very much Primark. Now this is, oh, it says 2XS. So it's two extra small. I'm definitely not two lots of extra small. I'm not even sure I'm one. Okay, I must have accidentally picked that up. Since when did they do a 2XS. Apparently it's a 4 slash 6, but who knows. It was £8, which I think is a very, very reasonable price for a jumper. It's a really nice knit. Like, it's really nice. It's cream, which is dangerous because makeup, foundation, the whole malarkey. Now, this is where the bun gets in the way. Pray for me. Okay, wait. The string's caught on my head. My head's too fat. People are stuck. Oh, 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 oh no, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. Okay, I hate those strings. I do not get what they're for, but they annoy me. Okay, oh, okay, it is not a vibe with the skirt, but the jumper is actually very cute. Oh, someone just stuck to me. Ah! That matching separate sticker stuck to my foot and it, it really hurts to take it off. You know when the glue fully gets you? It gets you. Okay, I do actually have a pair of matching trousers to go with this adorable jumper because I accidentally did outfits. Don't you love when you accidentally do outfits? That sounds like a weird sentence. So it's these bad boys. Now these weren't part of a pride collection, but I thought... They're rainbows, they're colourful, they kind of go nicely with the jumper. So I'm going to put them on. Don't worry, I'm not naked, I've still got the bikini bottoms on. I mean, this is, this would be like an Instagram girl's outfit, wouldn't it? Like, you know, we always, like, I mean, I do it as well. I wear a t-shirt and a bikini bottom, which is kind of reasonable. But then you see those people that take it a step too far, and they're wearing a fleecy jumper with bikini bottoms. I've seen it. Have you seen it? Let me know. So these trousers, mum picked these up. They were £13. They're a UK 8. So let's see what they are like. Okay, they're a wee bit big. I feel like mama maybe should have got me a six, but that's a-okay. Yeah, these just aren't a look for me. Um, probably doesn't help that I've got the bikini bottom strings on underneath, making my hips look wider. To be fair, I need wider hips because then I'm gonna be less pencil-esque. But, you know, just, fiddling with my strings. That sounds so weird. Ooh. Ooh. This is such a workout, especially in this heat. Like it's genuinely boiling in my room right now and I'm wearing a thick woolly jumper. Also, can we discuss the fact that Primark has loads of winter stuff in right now? And I'm like, no thank you. We are still in June. We are not accepting the fact that winter is only like a few months away. Can we please just enjoy the sunshine? Okay, now I'm just gonna pull my bikini bottoms out from under my trousers. As we can see, I can change anywhere. It's one of my skills. I will literally change in the middle of the street and not flush anyone, I don't even care. So here's the trousers. I do think these are probably more mum than they are me, just because, I don't know, they don't actually really match this jumper because A, the stripes are going in different directions and B, they're not quite the same shades but we'll allow it. I do love this jumper, like I think it's adorable, but I do want to take it off right now because I'm melting. So yeah, these trousers are cute. Let's back out. Here is the length of the trousers. They're kind of clot-esque, like they cut you just below the calf, which I don't know if it's flattering or not. I don't know if I look like I have cankles, but I always feel like whenever I'm trying to show the leg, I'm doing a, an aerobics exercise, which I obviously never do because, I mean, who actually exercises these days? Actually, I do endorse exercise, but my exercise is filming because 
it's a right workout. And I'm always jumping around everywhere. We all know that. Oh, now I did also pick up this little top, which I thought would actually look cute with these trousers and probably a lot better than this jumper. So it's a little merci, 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 merci. How do I say merci? Merci? I can't do a French accent. But it's basically a black little crop top with multicolored writing saying merci. Mer merci? Mer okay, I'm going to shut up. This is in a UK at six and it was... Four pounds, four pounds, a great price, great price. Now I can I finally take off the world's warmest jumper. Uh, oh, oh no, I've got that string again. I forgot about it. I feel like clothes should come with like a protective bit around the front for the foundation line. Because you know when you buy something or you want to buy something and then it has foundation all over it. Oh, there's nothing worse. Okay, don't know how to feel about these straps. I feel like it looks like one of those vest t-shirts. What are they called? Like wife beater t-shirts or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if it looks cute like a sports bra or like weird. Let me know. The, the embellishment, or no, that's, I never know the technical term. It, it's text on a t-shirt. That's as good as we're gonna get. Is very cute. Again, does match these trousers really well. Would I necessarily wear this outfit? It's probably not extra enough for me, I won't lie, but it is still very nice. Now, something that is extra enough for me and is lilac is this denim skirt that I came across. Okay, yes, Primark have a lilac denim skirt and this was 10 pounds. 10 pounds for a denim skirt. They are literally giving it away. Now I got it in a four because it looked a little bit big, but now that I'm putting it on, I'm like, Misha, who are you kidding? I can't get it over my bum and I don't even have a big bum. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best people. No, expect, the, no wait, what is it? I don't know. Expect the worst, receive the best, who knows? Oh, okay, no, no, I picked the sizing right, the size fits. Let me just do the zip. It's a wee bit tight, but I feel like one wear and the denim will soften and then we will be good. So this is adorable, like absolutely adorable. I'm a massive fan of Primark's denim. I think it's such good quality, such good price. And I mean, 10 pounds for a lilac denim mini skirt. And like, this is a nicer fit than some mini skirts I have that were so much more than that. And the top I got to go with it will either be a lover or a hater. As in, you'll be a lover or a hater. I'm a lover, then again, haven't tried it on yet, but I can understand how it will have mixed opinions. So it's to match perfectly with the lilac little skirt, and it's this top. Now again, I am getting kind of grandma vibes. Like, sorry, Nana Pat, I love you, but are we all getting grandma vibes? I don't know. So it's one of those like wrap tops. I've seen wrap dresses, but not wrap tops. So we are gonna wrap up my top. Actually, I'm gonna go over here so I don't. What, we don't have another word for boobies or like nippleage? Apart from nippleage, I feel like I need a new word for that as well because I always have different fanny words. But what about? I would call them jugs, but that's just not true. Maybe like, I swear people call them mosquito bites <laughs> or fried eggs. Yeah, I have fried eggs, peeps. Do I look like I work for the NHS? I feel like it kind of looks like a uniform. Okay, this isn't as cute as I thought it would be. That's really sad. I just don't think I have, I'm not like curvy enough for this because it's trying to like go into like a small waist, broad shoulders, big hips vibe, but it's just not a look. And this is a six as well, so it shouldn't be so loose on me. But I mean, what do you guys think? Do I look like the blancmange on the top of a trifle that no one wants to eat? Does anyone actually like trifle? Because I hate trifle. I know since not being able to eat dairy, being allergic to dairy, I can't really eat any of the ingredients. But even when I could, I wasn't a massive trifle fan. I feel like one of my favourite desserts is sticky toffee pudding. What's your guys' favourite dessert? By the way, this was £10. And yeah, I feel like it had so much potential. Also... 
maybe I should keep this. And then Alex from Love Island, me and him can be like nurse and doc, we can play nurse and doctor. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Okie dokie, more colourful pieces. Now, I picked up this crop top because I feel like I've seen everyone, their mum, their dog, their dad, their sister, their brother, their everyone in between, whoever wants to wear a multicoloured crop top in this crop top. So it was four pounds, four pounds. That's such a good price and it's stripy and it's cute and it will probably look a lot nicer with this skirt than this top does so let's try this bad boy on oh okay so the top is a very interesting fabric it has much more stretch to it than i thought it would like oh and it's actually quite tight i feel like maybe i could have done with the size up but this is a very cute outfit this is giving me like spice um, like Baby Spice, Sporty Spice vibes. I'm trying to think of a Spice Girls song. Oh, I don't know. Let me ask Siri. What's a Spice Girls song? I can never think about who sings which song. Oh, Spice Girls, here we go. Don't know that one. I want one that I know the words to. I'm not a very good Spice Girl fan, am I? I know none of them. I know this one. Let's wait till I get to the chorus. Stop right there. Thank you very much. I need somebody with a human touch. As we can see, I am the, is it fifth, sixth? One, two, three, four, five, sixth member of the Spice Girls, yes. Back to the Primark haul. Okay, so I've also got these trousers which speak to me on another level. Okay, they are like a baby bluey, greeny colour. They are spotty. I know spots are everywhere at the moment. Hopefully not on our faces, just on our clothes. I just think they're adorable. And these were 10 pounds now i don't know if you can wear spots and stripes together but i live life by my own rules so i'm gonna do it yes okay the denim skirt's quite hard to get out of people you might have to cut me out oh okay my bum is never too big for something but right now my bum's too big for it oh 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 the scratchy label is cutting at my bum Oh, these come up quite small. I do think, like, sizing so difficult, because you could try one in one size and it fit you, and then one in another and it's too big. Okay, these are quite small, but these are adorable. Look at them. I'm spotty. They are a wee bit see-through. Like, I can see the pocket lining, but I can't, but like, then it's clearer there but they're still very cute. Let's try and show you a full length. Ah! I kicked the wooden ladder and I do not know why I have a wooden slash wicker ladder. It's just supposedly part of the aesthetic. I don't think it really is, but you know, YOLO. So here's the trousers again, culotte length. I love the fact they have pockets. I'm a pocket gal. Here's the back. I do actually think they look kind of cute with the stripy top because they've got that same sort of like paley blue green but i don't know if it's a little bit too extra i mean can you ever be too extra actually i'm not sure final top actually is kind of a tiniest bit more greeny than the pants that i'm wearing and i picked this up in the store and i was like that's really cute and i kind of changed my mind now i don't know whether it's the color the shape, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll change my mind when it's on, but I just think this is even a little bit too young for me. And like, I dress like a four year old, as we can see, because right now I look like the epitome of a two year old. And that's fine because age is just a number. I may be 19, but at heart I'm about four. And people like to let me know that as well. Don't worry, I know I have the personality of a child. I feel like I'm gonna fly away. Okay. Oh, okay. Do we just sit it down? Oh, okay. This actually looks much cuter than I thought it would. And I think on camera, these are kind of looking the same colour. This ruffle's quite clever because it's kind of placed just over your jug fried egg area. 
so you're not gonna go flashing your jugs to the wind your phalanges to the wind. Should I now call these phalanges and swap it? Who knows? But no, this is quite cute. I don't know. Is it cute? Is it tacky? Let me know. I do think it looks quite nice with these trousers. Like, this is an adorable outfit, but I just have too many clothes, people. But just when Primark is so, so inexpensive and have such cute things, you just can't help but purchase. Now, a few housekeeping items. We've got some socks. They're workout socks, because apparently they've got breathable mesh, but I'll be wearing them when I don't work out because YOLO. Then we have these for my travels, because in exactly two weeks to the date, I am flying out to America. Ah, which is so exciting. So I got these little travel pots, because I thought I could put like creams and stuff in them, and they're £1.50. Last, but by certainly not least, we have a little dress. Now, I got this in a size 8 because they didn't have anything smaller, but I was like, it's so cute, I don't even mind. So, it's one of those wrap dresses that literally everyone... Oh, oh, I quite like the top like this. How much nicer would that look if that was how it was supposed to be worn, but it just falls down? Oh, my gosh, that would look so much nicer than like that. <gasps> Maybe I need to like stitch it in place because that is cute. Okay, there we go, Mish. Let's put this dress on now though. It's not about the top. As predicted, not the bosom of an eight. It's quite loose on the old chesticles, but it has got a little waist top. This is cute, people. This is very cute. It's kind of got like a mini slit. No, this is adorable. This is one of those pieces that you have to like go strawberry picking. I feel like everyone's gone strawberry picking recently and I haven't, so I feel really left out. So I'm gonna go strawberry picking next week. Well, am I gonna fit it in? No, but I'm gonna try, yes. Am I gonna do it for the gram? Yes, but this is adorable it's just like a really easy throw on piece i love these dresses that require no effort they aren't skin tight they're adorable they're summery they're just up my street because i won't lie to you guys i'm either full beat glam or sloth yeah most of the time i'm sloth people i am I don't wear any makeup, I'm in my joggers, I'm just looking like gremlin, but I don't even mind because embrace what you look like even without a full face of makeup. But anyway, I'm gonna stop nattering on and we're gonna recap. I feel like for this entire video, I've just gone off on about a million tangents. So I apologize if this has been incredibly long, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this little Primark haul. Favorite piece? Hmm. Probably the bikini because I just think that looks like something that would be for sale at like Topshop, House of CB, some like American bikini brand, and it's not. It's Primark. So, yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what was your favourite piece. Let me know if you've picked up any of these items. I'm sorry, I cannot link them down below. I don't think Primark will ever go online, but if it did, it would literally make life even better like life's pretty darn good right now peeps but it would make it just that little bit better but anyway i'm gonna wrap up this video still think i look like an idiot with this little bun but yolo so yes i hope you have enjoyed please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel make sure to check out my instagram at misha underscore grimes to find out about my 80k giveaway thank you guys so so much for your kind words recently and i mean your kind words every week every day everything like that it just honestly means the absolute world to me we are getting so close to 100k and by so close i mean we're like 15k away but in the grand scheme of things there's not that many people so yeah hopefully i'll hit 100k by maybe like september that's maybe the aim i'm not sure hopefully by the end of the week yeah so yes i'm gonna love you and leave you guys make sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a like do whatever you want. You do you, boo. And yes, I love you guys a lot. And I will see you all next time. So, bye.